Hi, and welcome to another video on Image R. Today we will engrave an image on painted glass. Let's go. First, we upload our image on imag-r.com. Our glass is 130 millimeters by 180 millimeters in size, so we have to resize the image and select the matching DPI for our laser. As you can see, the ratio is different, so we can't resize it exactly to the needed size. This is not a problem and we can fix this later. Just make sure values are as big or bigger as the glass itself. For my laser, I need 318 DPI. So if you're not sure what DPI you need, watch the video in the upper right corner. For this image, I will use the Cassia algorithm since it works awesome for me on glass. After the material, we can download the image. I prefer PNG as a format. Now we can upload the prepared image again on Image R and open the crop function. Change your measurement to your preferred unit. In my case, it's millimeters. Now we will move to the crop area until we have exactly 180 by 130 millimeters, since this is our exact glass size. Great. Now just download the cropped image without touching anything else. Now let's prepare the glass for engraving. Of course, we have to paint the glass. I prefer to use black paint. It doesn't really matter which paint you use. I'll put an empty paper in my machine and tape it on the edges to fix it. Next step is to cut out a rectangle with the exact glass size. In my case, 180 by 130 millimeters. Now place the glass in the area with the painted side up. I make some holes in the paper to avoid the air assist for moving the glass. This can happen if you have a strong air assist, since the air can't escape anywhere and will get underneath the glass. Make sure the distance to your material is correct. This step is also explained in the DPI video from before. Let's start our image. I run it at 11% power at 500 millimeters per second on my 80 watt CO2 laser. I also attached the unprepared image in the video description if you want to engrave it as well. Now let's use a brush to remove the dust and the image is pretty much done. Put it on a white background or color the engraved side of the glass white to make the details more visible. As you can see, they turned out awesome. Glass is pretty easy to get a decent result on, so try it. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video to never miss out. Have a great day and see you next time. Bye-bye.